This Sunday we had to take an unexpected trip to the vet because Sami developed an ear infection. So I know that Westies normally have ear infections because of the allergies, um, but Sami has never had any ear problems. I mean, he's had some um, otitis when he was about three months old, uh, but he's never had anything um, with his ears since then. So this was quite uh, new and unexpected. Um, even though he has allergies, he has um, a skin allergy to dust mites, uh, this never manifested with his ears as well. So I guess um, he's lucky from that point of view. But anyway, this uh, weekend um, we noticed some signs that something was wrong and I'm going to tell you what the symptoms were. So the first thing that I noticed on Sunday morning that told me that something was wrong with his left ear um, he was shaking his head when he woke up and his left ear was making this clicking sound, you know, like a crinkling um, sound that I've never heard before. So I had absolutely no idea what it was, so I googled it. And it said that when a dog's ear makes this clicking sound, it's possibly because of an ear infection, um, because there is liquid in there and that's what's making um, that sound. So. I thought, okay, um, this is bad, he's, he's never had an ear infection since he was a puppy and I should take him to the vet, but since it was Sunday, I thought our regular vet is closed, so I'm just going to wait until tomorrow and I'm going to take him then, since it's not an emergency. So um, throughout the day he was fine, he, he ate his meals, he played, he was acting normally. Um, he was just scratching at his ear a little bit more than uh, usual. So I tried to stop that because I know that's not good. Um, and at some point, uh, my boyfriend was playing with him and he was just doing this rough thing that he always does. You know, he was just pulling on his face a little bit. And when he touched his ear, Sami cried. So that's when we realized, okay, so he's, he's hurting, something's not right. So I looked inside the ear and I noticed that it was red and a little bit swollen compared to his other ear. Like his other ear, as you can see here, it's, you know, a pale pink and the inside looks normal. And the other one, now it's, now it's a lot better, but that day it was really, I don't know if you can see, was really swollen inside there. So it was clearly something going on there. So I looked online, what could I do at home? Um, and I saw that I could clean his ears using some drops that I already had. So I used the drops that I already have and um, they're for dogs, they're for ear cleaning. I use them maybe once a month or something like that since he doesn't have ear problems. So I put some drops in his ear, cleaned it, um, and I thought, okay, I'm hoping this, this is going to help. But then later in the evening, um, I noticed he was, he was walking with his back arched, like the, the way they walk when they want to poop. So he was doing that, and I, I thought it was really weird because he's never done that before. And at some point he laid on the floor. I was talking to him, what's up? And he laid on the floor and he started trembling. So he was just trembling like this. And I've never seen him do that before. So my boyfriend and I were like, he's gotta be in serious pain if he's doing that because he's, he never does that. And he's not the kind of dog to whine or bark when he's in pain. So it's very hard to tell when there's a problem. Uh, because he usually conceals it. So I, I thought that's his way of expressing pain. So we thought, okay, f it. we're taking him to the vet right now. So we got in the car and we drove him to the vet hospital that is open 24 seven. So when we got to the hospital, um, the doctor uh, took him in. We were also allowed to go in and she looked at his ear she looked inside the ear and she said, yep, that's a ear infection. So she took a sample so that she could send it to the lab to determine what kind of ear infection it is, because it can be a yeast infection, it can be fungal, 
um, I don't know, there's a lot of um, possibilities. So she took a sample and she sent it to the lab. It should be ready. Uh, the results should be ready in a few days to, to the end of the week. But until then, she said, okay, I'm going to give you an antibiotic that you can use um, until then. It's the most common antibiotic that works for most ear infections. So I need to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a treat. He hates this as would be expected. Yay! So I have to do this um, twice a day for about a week until we have our next appointment. Um, I need to first clean his ears using these drops that uh, dissolve the wax of the ear so that the antibiotic can penetrate. And then I have to do this and he's a really good boy. He's pretty well behaved. He knows that I have to do this, that it's not, that it's for his own good. <laughs> oh, spraying it all over me. Good job. You did a good job. Good job. Nice. High five. Yay! Yeah, so we have our next appointment to the vet um, on Friday in a few days. And that's when we're going to know if uh, the infection cleared up or if do we have to continue with the antibiotic. We're also going to see the test results so we can <laughs> see if um, they're going to change the antibiotic or keep this one. I don't know. So all in all, I'm glad that we took Sami to the vet that night and that we didn't wait until the next day. Um, it would have been a, a painful night for him and I'm glad that uh, we could avoid that from happening. We ended up paying 124 euros for the whole thing, out of which the, the emergency consult was 58 euros. And then the rest was the lab tests, the anti-inflammatory meds, the ear cleaning drops and the antibiotic drops. So overall, it wasn't that much more expensive um, than a regular checkup had we gone the next day. So anyway, I wanted to make this video and share this experience. And I wanted to ask you, uh, do you have any experience with ear infections in dogs? Does your dog experience this often? If you have any thoughts, leave them in comments. I'd be curious to know. And yeah, please do share your experience with your pups. I would love to hear it. Any advice that you have um, or any words of encouragement. Um, Sami has had a rough few days now. He's feeling a lot better, but it was quite painful. Um, this happened on Sunday, so it's already been like four days. And he's been in, in a lot of pain. He also got some anti-inflammatory meds from the vet that helped. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bit tough for a few days. And I'm hoping that he's going to get better really soon. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Click the like icon below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. I publish new videos every week with Sami. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> High five.